Commander, meet me at the East Precinct. Haven't been able to reach Lee yet, but I have an idea. I thought he asked you personally to bring me in. Is he always this tough to get a hold of? No, not for me anyway. Uh, but our departments are underwater right now. He's probably just busy. He directed all traffic to this office. My friend Min is the captain. She should be able to help us. No kidding. I don't get paid enough to spend half my day fighting off a risen. I'll lose an arm. Or stomping on grubs. Captain Min wants no interruptions. Thanks to your buddy Lee, our precinct is swamped! Let me back there, Mogi. I'm telling you, she'll be fine with it. Think I know her better than you do? Oh, I forgot I'm talking to the Minister of Self-Importance. She's not even answering her door right now. She'll answer for me, okay? She knows my knock. We have a secret knock. It's an inside joke from when we were kids. Cute. And I'm sure you and Lee have a special handshake. But the answer is no. She's busy, and so am I. But... We'd be less busy if someone gave us a hand. Say, I don't know, a friend of Min's? Perhaps an admirer? Who cares deeply for her? Oh, you manipulative foot fungus. I'll knock out a few tasks, hmm? To help her. Then, you're letting me back there. Deal. But until you're done, the only door you're getting through is the exit. No secret knock required. Min! Hey, Min! You back there? Stop shouting! She can't hear you! I swear, I'll have you removed. Oh, you gonna call the police on me? Get out, Rama! A deal's a deal! you had to witness that little kerfuffle. That was actually one of my more pleasant interactions with Mogi. You two have a history? You could say that. We went through training together. He used to give me crap for... Uh, <laughs> waste of breath. Anyway, we're helping with a few chores. Some grubs, undead crows, routine stuff. There's also an infestation of purest activity in the area. Given their political inclinations, you'd think they'd choose to live somewhere more agreeable to their bigotry. You'd think. Listen, think you can handle Mogi's menial tasks on your own for a little while? I've got an idea. Might be a good one. Might be crazy. I'll get back to you, Commander. Everything that we can. <sighs> Whatever you are. Jim Lai Jade, founder of Yu Jiu, has not been seen outside our mansion since the recent uptick in violent jade techno functions. We are currently trying to reach her for a statement. I swear, the risen attacks are getting worse and worse every day. Did you hear about Sudo? A couple of them broke down his front door. Kids weren't home, at least. He's 
stupid crows keep eating the grubs. Now they're nutty too. Think this is getting out of hand? Everything set up. Let's say we do some real police work. I'd say about time. What did you have in mind? The East Precinct's been trying to identify a purist ringleader hidden in Kainang. To no avail. Fool. They only know a code name. White Falcon. Min's been working at it for months. We might be able to help expedite her case. Meet me at the docks. And bring a skiff. Uh, she died last year. All right, let's get this show on the road. Mm, river. You sure you know how to drive this thing? I've ridden an Elder Dragon detective. <laughs> Just checking. Don't get the hat wet. Anyway, a friend of mine in the Ministry of Intelligence lent me a few eavesdropping toys. <laughs> Gods, I love my job. There's a couple of bridges along the river that the purists like to loiter around. Take us under them like we're a maintenance crew. I'll install the wires. With any luck, we'll hear some juicy, purest intel. I can't tell if this plan is really good or really bad. But I bet you want to find out. We've got three bridges to hit. Just pull us up under each of them, anchor the boat, and I'll handle the rest. I'd managed to avoid this sushi place no matter how many times men invited me. Then you and Navan dragged me there. Thanks for that. Right. Uh, hey, Robin. Can I ask about you and this Captain Min? No, ma'am. You may not. Head through the tunnel there. Junkyard on the other side is a known hotspot. <laughs> I, uh, had my first kiss in there. The love tunnel, kids call it. Uh-uh. Don't get any ideas, Commander. Thanks for the help. I tried to go to the Ministry, but they're completely tied up. This looks like a good spot. Anchor her and I'll plant the bug. Well, that should do it. Let's get out of here before we're spotted. If we find this white falcon, will that be the end of the purists? No. An idea doesn't die with one person. But it'll make a difference. All the jade shipped through Echo Vault arrives here. The jade Brotherhood like to target it.
This only works if you drop anchor and keep the boats. Done with this one. The purest problem in Kainen got ten times worse when White Falcon came onto the scene. I don't know what'll ever stop them. I thought the border opening would give them a little perspective. But so far it's only fanned the flames. I'd like to think hearts can be won and societies can change. There are things we face that are bigger than all of us. Hmm. <laughs> like the void? Like the void. This is, uh, actually where I grew up. My dad's... a little much. But rather he didn't know I was here. you check out any of the night markets yet? Definitely worth it. After we save the world from the void, that is. I can't work if we're untethered, Commander. That's the last of them. Let's head back to the docks. I gotta ask. Do you think we can actually stop the Void? It morphs reality. I have to have faith in our allies. All the more reason we need to convince June and Lee to help us. Well, you have this mid-level detective on your side. If the Void obliterates me, tell Minister Lee I died a hero. some top-notch spy work, Commander. You know, I heard Lintel might have some open positions in the near future. You're assuming I'm not already a spy. <laughs> Very funny. I set up a receiver we can use. It's stashed away on higher elevation. Better reception and all that. You head up there, and I'll head back to the office and try and get in touch with Min again. Let her know what we're up to.
May, you are looking ravishing today. What do I say about using names? Goddamn idiot. Sorry, sorry. Forgot we're supposed to use code names. Hey, who do you think White Falcon is anyway? Hell if I know. The Empress herself? Gotta be someone high up the food chain. Did you drop off the dossier? Do I look like some kind of Luxon street trash? Of course I dropped it off. With the kooky recruiter over in Grub Lane, like you said. Good. That drop-off's going straight to White Falcon, so it's your ass on the line if you screwed it up. Yeah, yeah. We've got our target. I know it's jackass recruiter they're talking about. Wanna pay our purest friend a little visit? With pleasure. Dossier. Okay, okay, take it. Rama, just finished having a chat with our purest friend. Did he sing? With surprising ease. Nice. Min's ready to see us. And she chewed Mogi out for making us do his busy work. We can pass along the intel you got. I'm sure she'll appreciate it. She knows about you. This is Min. We grew up together in the, uh, fancy part of town. Real fancy. <laughs> Even the cockroaches wanted out of that dump. Speaking of cockroaches, sorry Mogi gave you the runaround. But he's right about us being swamped. Lee keeps piling stuff on. Let me know if there's more I can do. I think Lee's just stressed. Well, he can join the club. I know, I know. You've got a soft spot for him. I guess I can relate to him, in some ways. His early days, at least. He can actually be easy to talk to, when he wants to. Well, he's definitely got a soft spot for you. I told him you'd be there soon. Might want to head over. Make any headway on that purest case? I feel like I'm about to make a breakthrough, but a million distractions keep popping up. Like earlier, I guess some guy was in our lobby shouting. Now I have to look into that. The city's coming unhinged. Yeah. Wild times we're living in. <laughs> Place is always empty this time of night. Gives me the creeps. But less commotion's probably a good thing. Lee usually works late, so he should be in his office. Let's take care of this. You brought the evidence, right? Of course. Have a little faith in me. Just making sure we've covered our bases. We can be tough to get through to sometimes. There's <laughs> sort of an art to talking with him. Let me start things off, and you can back me up. When should I chime in? You'll know. Just be patient and pay attention. Nervous? Lee doesn't intimidate me. Good. <sighs> that makes one of us. I knew you were the man for the job, Rama. I'd say you've got a promotion on the horizon. But first things first. Bring the suspect downstairs for... questioning. We have a long night ahead of us. Sir, before we do that, uh, you should know there have been some developments in the case. Go on. 
I hate to admit it, but I think we've been pursuing the wrong perp. I believe this suspect to be innocent. Sounds like someone's been charmed by Ambassador Meade's dubious narrative. Don't tell me you're falling for their lies. N no, sir. But I think our previous assumptions may not be as cut and dried as we thought. What isn't cut and dried? This outsider's been part of every breach of national security since we opened our borders. That includes the reactor incident. Must I remind you their dragon's blowing fingerprints are all over the crime scene? I... I'm aware. But a new piece of evidence was recovered that aligns with the Commander's story. It points to another culprit, an Asura named Anka. She led an Aetherblade mutiny prior to the attack. Fine. Bring her in for questioning as well, if you feel so compelled. I'm afraid I can't do that, sir. She... Well, she's dead. Shame. <laughs> Not that it matters. We'll see how well this one's story holds up after a few hours of interrogation. This was used at the reactor minister. Finally. I was starting to think you really forgot. What exactly am I looking at? A piece of the device used in the reactor incident. Aether Blade Tech. Anka, the Blade's first mate, used it to drain the dragon's magic during the airship crash. She then staged a mutiny. Later, she used that stored magic to cause the reactor incident. The signature matches the crystals at the scene. To say this story sounds far-fetched would be putting it mildly. Minister, you taught me to believe in this organization. In the values it stands for. If I have even a shred of proof that points towards someone's innocence, it's my duty to take it seriously. Right now, the biggest threat isn't the commander. It's the dragon rampaging in the Jade Sea. We need to get her under control, and June's our best bet for that. The commander's willing to help with June once you give us the okay. ha um, I need you to trust me. Very well. Let's get going. Oh, and Rama, if you ever use my given name again, you'll be on desk duty until you retire. I have transport available on the roof. Should get us to June fairly quickly. Incredible. There's nothing in Tyria I can even compare this place to. I still remember the first time you brought me up here, sir. I was... in awe. I felt the same when I started here. It's only gotten more impressive. Humbling reminder of how far we've come. My specialized task force. Train them myself. They'll be assisting tonight. June's left her mark on this nation. She is a talented woman. Wish she'd focus that talent on what's in front of her. Some people are always looking for what else is out there. Guess we prefer working with what's already here. Everyone thinks their view of the world's the right one. Hmm. Is everyone ready? Yes. Absolutely. Uh, Rama? Subdue the criminal. Sir, what are you doing? I'm sorry you got caught up in this mess, son, but it's best you leave matters to us. We'll see that they're handled appropriately. Guards, see to it the outsider remains alive. But if force is required, you may use it. I'm not going anywhere till we get this straightened out. This is the best part of the job.
It's my pleasure to detain you tonight. to be ostentatious now. It's unbecoming. Got your jail cell ready. Fluff the pillow myself. My shield! This night just keeps getting better, huh? Minister, this will be easier if you cooperate. This useless outsider is not worth your career or your freedom. The commander is innocent. They're all innocent. But even the smallest cut can lead to infection. We've let this one fester. Sir, permission to assist you. Permission denied. I'll handle this. Change of plan. Place them both under arrest. Time in solitary should get Rama's head straight. I call the outsider. Hating criminals, Rama? How the mighty have fallen. You'll look lovely in handcuffs. Stay synchronized, you two. Strength in pairs. Okay, back up there. Absolutely sure. There's no doubt he's.
fort. You're diluting your nation, Rama. Eroding is culture, it's people. I think I'd know about eroded culture. Oh, don't be dramatic. History is the ebb and flow of power. Humanity striving for its best iteration. Sir, I insist on you to help. Find yourself, soldier. I said I'll handle this. Finish them off, Commander. I'll take care of Lee. Take care of him? I taught you to fight. <sighs> right. At best. Uh, uh, if you weren't worthy, you would be on my next mile. So, uh, I recognize your merits. Despite your... Hong, I'm placing you under arrest for attempted murder and criminal conspiracy. And if being an asshole were a crime, I'd charge you with that too.
this? This is going to be a whole lot of paperwork. Well, Commander, looks like my night's booked. You'll have to get to June on your own. Will do. Good luck with Lee. Oh, and on behalf of the non-corrupt side of the Canton justice system, thanks. You okay? Yeah, yeah. I'm an idiot. It was right there in front of me. <laughs> Some detective. This isn't on you. What's tough about these situations is they don't parade around in purest masks. You get so used to someone, you miss their tells. Before you know it, you're used to those, too. I wasted 12 years working for Usoku Incarnate. You've done so much, and that's not gonna stop. Lee didn't make you a great detective, or a great man. You did. Sorry about all of this. At least now we can hold him accountable. Lee sure puts the criminal in criminal justice. But he's right about you making a great minister. You represent Kantha more than he ever could. Thanks. Doubt it's in the cards. Though he did set the bar nice and low for whoever's next. <laughs>